I'm Amy from eSpares and in this video I'll be talking through how to clean your tumble dryer. By following these tips to regularly clean and maintain your tumble dryer, your appliance will be working safer and more efficiently for longer. Just make sure that before you carry out any cleaning or maintenance that your appliance is fully cooled down, turned off and disconnected. This is especially important when working on the internal parts. Now let's get started with the cleaning tips. Our first tip is to make sure that you clean the lint filter after every cycle, as a clogged lint filter will reduce the airflow into the machine, which will compromise the efficiency and cost you more in energy bills. A clogged lint filter will also reduce the air going into the machine, which will make it get hotter and hotter. Most models are equipped with thermal cutoffs, which will stop heat going into the machine if it gets too hot inside. But if these thermal cutoffs fail because they're clogged, then your machine will get far too hot and could even catch on fire. To do this, simply remove the filter and scrape off any lint or debris with your fingers. If you find that there's still excess on the filter, you can run it under the tap, just make sure that it's completely dry before you put it back in the machine. Remove any lint from the filter area too. Use your vacuum crevice tool to vacuum the filter housing out periodically. We'll link to more tips on using your tumble dryer safely at the end of this video, so stick around for that important info. Our next piece of cleaning advice relates to condenser dryers. If you have this type of dryer, make sure that you check the water container after every cycle and empty if necessary. This means that you'll be able to run a full cycle without having to stop halfway through to empty the water container. Whilst you're checking the water container, be sure to check the heat exchanger as well to see if that needs a clean. The heat exchanger turns steam from the dryer drum back into water. However, this steam can contain small fibres and bits of dirt that can clog up the heat exchanger. If this happens, it will make your machine much less efficient. The heat exchanger can be found below the drum, either behind a door or a panel. And to clean it, you simply remove it. And you can remove any lint or fluff by hand and then give it a rinse under the tap and do this about once a month. If you have a vented tumble dryer instead of a condenser dryer, be sure to check the vent hose regularly for any kinks or damage and remove any buildup of lint or fluff. The vent hose allows warm damp air to flow out of your tumble dryer, so if this is damaged it will affect the airflow, which will mean your drying will take longer and your machine will be less efficient. If your hose has seen better days, it's best to replace it, so we'll link where to find replacements on our website down below. Make sure that you clean the back of your tumble dryer often as well, as dirt can build up here and affect its performance. Just be sure that your machine's unplugged and your vent hose is disconnected before you do this. All you need to do is simply unscrew the back panel and vacuum around the blower and the vent pipe connection, then reconnect the vent pipe and reattach the back panel. Next up, we're going to clean the inside of your tumble dryer drum. Now, it's really important to make sure that the tumble dryer drum stays clean for two reasons. Firstly, grime and fluff can build up inside the drum and embed itself into the fabric of lighter coloured clothing, ruining your favourite items. Secondly, it could lead to a dirty drying sensor. Now, the dryer sensor is located inside the drum just below the door opening. This detects the moisture levels inside the load and switches off when it thinks the load's dry enough. If this gets clogged with dirt and fluff, it can mean that your clothing comes out too wet or the machine runs for longer than it needs to and wastes your energy. So keep your dryer drum and dryer sensor clean by giving them a wipe down with a stainless steel cleaner or white vinegar. Another area of your tumble dryer to keep clean are the door seals. Now because your tumble dryer is warm and damp, bacteria and microbes can breed on the door seal, leading to unpleasant smells. So be sure to wipe down your door seals as part of your drying routine to keep your clothes and your appliance smelling fresh. Another great tip to allow air to circulate in your tumble dryer is by using energy saving dryer balls. These balls separate the clothing during the cycle, which will allow more air to get to them and reduce drying time. They'll also reduce static too, so mean that you won't need to use dryer sheets. 
For more information on the benefits of the dryer balls and how to use them, take a look at our video up here. Our final tip to make sure that your tumble dryer is as energy efficient as possible is to make sure that you don't overload it. Tumble dryers can overheat and become damaged if they're overloaded, so make sure that you even out the load with multiple items of a similar size. Make sure that you fill the drum half full as this is optimal for drying and don't overfill it with larger items such as duvets. Where possible, air dry larger and thicker items of clothes beforehand. So there we have it, there are our tips for cleaning your tumble dryer and keeping it energy efficient. Make sure that you check out our safety videos to optimise the safety of your tumble dryer too and subscribe to our channel for advice on fixing, maintaining and the safety of your household appliances. Thanks for watching.